Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are here at the St. Croix, Croix Lake, Croix, something like that. I always get that mixed up. St. Croix Lake in Michigan. And we are coming here to try to catch some of the new species that have been added since the last time I was here. Now, some of them have been quite common for me to catch. I have caught the shad. I know a great place to catch them. The Atlantic salmon. I discovered a few new places. The blues. Anyway, guys, I have caught a number of these same species. Everything I've caught here, as a matter of fact. I know a great spot for the freshwater drum. So catching enough fish to pay for this is not going to be a problem. The only thing I have not caught is coming up. And there he is. Actually, I haven't caught either one of these two. I didn't realize there was the tiger trout as well. The tiger muskie and the tiger trout. And they all come in uniques. Everything just about here comes in uniques. Even the yellow perch. Yeah, I think if we can, we're going to be spending some time here, guys. And our goal is to seek, basically to seek out some of these new species and to see if we can't catch a few uniques here and there i mean at least give it a shot guys that's all we can do but anyway i do know a good spot for muskies so hopefully the tiger muskie will be in a similar area all right let's go ahead and see what we have inventory wise i'm keeping pretty much the same type of bait i took with me to alberta canada and the same rods they seem to work very well here i've got a little bit i've basically got a heavy duty rod a medium of the medium in the type of rod and a ultralight but my medium rod is my farcaster my large is my river tex and my elemental for light fishing and then my huge rod for float fishing and my phoenix which is somewhere in the middle of the range so we are ready to go guys let's see what we can scare up here now like i said it has been a while and i'm trying to remember as i live and breathe it's been a long time like i said but i think what i want to do is i want to go over here to the king of the green bay And I'm probably going to need advanced time a little bit because this happens to be a rainy day. A rainy day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Rainy days mean rainy day walleyes. Yes, 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 yes. That means we need to go out to the floating dock fairy tale fishing. This is the way it is, guys. Anytime you get a rainy day, you go to the dock and you go fishing for walleye. I don't know if you can see, but there's a boat on this side. And over here, you see that buoy. Well, the buoy is where you want to fish, guys. And we're going to need our medium rod. And we're going to need our medium... Medium spoon half ounce and this should get us going guys cannot believe I caught a rainy day that was just pure honest to God luck oh good that wasn't that was just pure honest to God getting too excited and casting like a, a turkey
Yeah, guys, this is the primo weather for catching walleye. You can catch them on this side, and you can catch them over on the other side, but we're going to start here. Stop and go. And there he is. And it's a nice one. It's a nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Come here. Actually, this may be an Atlantic salmon. Well, I did know they were over here, but we're keeping him. I'm not... Wanted to look a gift horse in the mouth here. Atlantic salmon are great too. It's probably because it's still kind of early. But yeah, I was the first one to discover that this spot was a good place from about 5 to 6 in the morning for the Atlantic salmon. No one else had discovered it. And it was a total accident. I was fishing for walleye, just like I am right, you know, which is really what I'm primary fishing for. But I happened to find out that the salmon are here too, and they are biting. Yeah, we're going to be spending some time here, guys. This is a lake I haven't been to in quite a while. What? A snag? What the hell's out there? There we go. It's like I've never gotten a snag over here. What the hell's up with that? Yeah, they took our sturgeon away from us, though. That's the only thing that really upset me. You can't catch a sturgeon here. You have to go to California. Which doesn't make any sense, because... In Michigan, they have sturgeon. Ooh, something went for it. There he is. There he is. Here he comes to save the day. Hey, walleye. Nope, smallmouth bass. What the heck? Okay, whatever. What the heck are you doing out there, little smallmouth bass? Are you an opportunist? Taking the limelight? Is that what the deal is? You taking the limelight? You stealing the show from the our walleye ba pals? Yeah, there's definitely a strange snag out there somewhere. I don't get that at all. Might try a crankbait, see if they're going to be a little more receptive to that because uh, seriously
Let's try a crankbait. I haven't tried a crankbait for these guys in a long time. Oh gosh, I think it was 8 foot, but I swear it might be 12 foot. But let's try 8 foot first. Let's try this one. I think this is it actually, because I remember it was like a 4 odd hook. Whoa! That's what I call a last minute walleye. <laughs> there he is. Last second, boy. Yeah, I knew it was one of these that they really liked. How's that? And I didn't even name it. Every now and then I've been like liking to do that for challenging purposes. Let's see if we can't get us another walleye since it's still raining. I think it rains until about 7. There we go. Laid into another one. Five twenty. We're gonna pay for this trip in no time, guys. I do like doing it that way because I can get it so much smoother. What you do is you just kind of hold down on it, and you can kind of cast it without having to use the little dot. Oh shoot, don't get off of there you little bugger. I don't know, this might be a small... No? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it's a brook trout. I knew that wasn't a walleye. Walleye don't fight like that. Ooh, nice cast. Yeah, most people they see it rain are like, eh, I'm not going fishing. Man, it's raining here. You're going, you go, let's go fishing, guys, because this is the time to fish. Alright, I don't know what this is, but it's not, I don't think it's a wall, well, it might be. It's not fighting seriously hard, but it's heavy. Yep, it's a walleye. Yeah, this is a great time to go fishing, guys. Great time to go fishing. And I guess it's a great time to get a snag, too. There is another spot you can catch them at, but not like this, this area over here. This area is just... Walleye Central when it's raining. <clears throat> okay, let's try on this side for a little while, see if we can... Scare up any walla on this end of things.
Yeah, the salmon window is pretty short. So if you all happen to be wanting to go after them, it's usually between about 5 and 6 in the morning, and then there's a, an evening time, usually in the peak period, from about, I think it was 6 to 7. I have to check my check my records. But I think that's right. I know it's 5 to 6 in the morning. That was usually when I was fishing for them, so... Yeah, it's doing just like I am right now. I was just fishing for, for walleye. Now, you probably won't get Atlantic salmon off of these crankbaits. But... You will get them off of the... Yellow tiger spoons. They do like those a lot. I caught them a lot up in Alberta and I caught them here. Now, in Alberta, you can catch them with the cranks, but I think you have to go with the 8 foot. Not really sure about here. And since the time is almost up, I'm not so sure that we would catch any at this point anyway. Okay, the wall I don't seem to be biting over here right now. So we're going to keep doing it towards the boat. Excuse me there. I think we got us another. Another. Uh, no. No, I think we got us a smallmouth. Yep. You see that guy flip out of the water? It is not a walleye. Walleye don't fight like that. That's why a lot of people don't like to fish for them. Because they're not really a hard fighting fish. However, they're some of the best eating that you can ever put on your plate, and that's one of the reasons I like to go for them. Any of the perch family, the, sal the salmon, the um, walleye, the sauger, I was thinking sa sauger, not salmon, the sauger, the yellow perch, Apparently the European perch, redfin perch, and Xander. Those are all in the same family. And they are all good eating. Yeah, I do want to apologize. I know we were going to go looking for tiger muskie, but I'm sorry. A rainy day is just a little bit too too cool to pass up. I mean, you get a rainy day, you go fish for walleye. It's everything. You stop everything, you go fish for walleye. It's just the way it is, guys. It's just the way it is. Ah! Are you kidding me? Alright, maybe we can get him again. Let's see here. He must have been right up to the dock. I'm going to pause a little bit. Maybe I can... It seems like you could do a stop and go a little bit with a crankbait. You know, kind of let it float up a little bit. I guess he left. 
Oh, heck. Got snags right around here. Yep, there it is. Ah, oh boy. Okay, that, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> Didn't look like I was going to get it off of there. These crankbaits are not cheap. I didn't want to really lose them. There we go. And... Mm, what is that? Ah, brook trout. Or brown trout. What am I saying, brook trout? Well, I knew when he flipped out that it wasn't a walleye, but brown trout right there, huh? Huh. Damn. Looks like it's not just the walleye that are having a good time today. The brookies and the brownies are out and about too. Let's see what we got here guys. I th okay, it is probably a walleye. Yep, it's a walleye. I haven't even seen him and I know it's a walleye. See what I mean about the way they don't fight? You've never seen them flip out of the water. That's a gorgeous fish. Should I th Let's keep him. Boy, this is this is when it's fun. This is when it's fun. Now, when I was playing Russian Fishing 4 last night, I was having a similar experience. I happened upon an area where there was a lot of perch. And I was just... Oh boy. Come on. Okay. Shoo. I was catching one perch after another after another. Oh, there's just a thrill when you hit a, a, a really good area. And the fish are biting. This particular lure is doing very well for me right at the moment. However, I might... Whoa! You little pain in my butt! Waited till the last damn minute again, didn't you? Couldn't let it get up to the dock. You had to go after it right as it comes out of the water. Yeah, I... there we go. I can't get it to go any slower than that. Mm, no, this isn't. Well, maybe it is. You fought kind of hard. You don't usually fight that hard. I'm just going to see if that guy's still here. I guess he went on. been nice if I could have got him. He looked pretty big. And what do we got? What have we got? I don't think... No, it's not a walleye. It's probably a trout. Nope, oh, smallmouth bass. Yeah, I knew whatever it was... Whatever it was, it wasn't big enough to... really pull hard on the line. I 
I just wanted to put a little pause in case something was coming after it. See? Now, he isn't very big, but... He's a walleye! Boom! Zzzz! Dweep! Ah, oh, stupid snag. Yeah, it's starting to slow down now. Yeah, I'm going to throw right up to the boat this time. I was just extremely pleased, oh good, to know that we're still catching them this way. A lot of things have changed since the last update, and it's been a while since I've been here. This is not a walleye. Smallmouth, yep. But this is just about over, guys. Our little walleye experience is just about done. I'd love to catch one more before the clock strikes seven. Not sure if that's going to happen. But we did catch quite a few. As soon as it stops raining, we're going to take a look and see what we caught in that two-hour stretch of time. In game time, I should say. There we go. That might be him. That might be the last walleye of the day. No, it's a brown trout. <laughs> See, rain stopped. And it's over, guys. That's pretty awesome, though, wasn't it? Pretty damned awesome. Yeah, we're going to take a look here, guys, and see what we got. Because I am... Check it out. 14 fish. $5,805, and I'm not on a premium. So, that is just two hours of in-game fishing. And I've almost paid for my trip. 110 pounds of fish. No, not 110 pounds. 52 pounds of fish. I was looking at this. Maximum fish weight. That's my keep net. I brought the big, big keep net because, well, obviously there's a good reason for that. But let's take a look. What's the biggest one we got here? Uh, I think we got us a four pound walleye. I think that's the biggest walleye. Let's see here. And then the brown trout. Biggest fish that we caught was the Atlantic salmon, though. Not a bad morning. Not a bad morning at all, guys. Anyway, the lure that I was using, guys, it is the Crankbait 12 foot 4 aught blue. And as far as your line and test line and all that, I would say. I'm using the .014. It's really not that important. The important thing is that particular lure is extremely effective for catching these guys, especially on the rainy days. The other lure that's really good for that is the um, Lemon Tiger Half Ounce. And I'm trying to remember, I think, that it is... And make sure here, just uh, I'm telling you right, yeah, it's a three aught, the three aught hook. They bite on that really well as also. 
They can bite off of the the red and the uh, gold, but I don't have as much luck with them, to be perfectly honest. So I would stick with those particular lures. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that first episode of Michigan that I've been to for a long time here. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, subscribe, and always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.